again, this is part of a series, uh, this is video 7, I believe, on uh, editing the video game Doom. The first five or so videos, we were editing a source code. Last week, we started looking into a hex editor to modify strings, which is very easy to do. Now, we're going to be looking at actually modifying, um, you know, uh, in this case, we're going to look at the player's health, which is not just a plain string. So, what I need to do is I need to figure out where in the binary file the health is. And this will vary depending on the source code, depending on the compiler, depending on your architecture, whether you're 32 bit, 64 bit, if you're running an ARM processor. So when I do this, I just want to point out that I'm going to tell you, you know, we're going to this point in the file. It will most likely be different on your system, but I'm going to show you how to find it if you have the source code. <laughs> um, you're probably going to ask at the end of this, well, how do I do this if the source code isn't available? And my answer is, uh, it's not something I've ever actually done. Uh, basically, I think you use a decompiler, and then you find the point in the code and jump to it. But I'm going to show you by creating two different binary files, comparing them, which is a good thing to know how to do, and then finding that point that we're looking for. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just type in make. I've got a clean install of Doom here. And I'm going to now, I'm going to move, let's bring this up here, move the binary file we just created, which is called PRBoom Plus, and we're going to put it in that same folder, but we'll call it Doom 1. We can run that just to have a look, Doom 1, and it's actually Doom 2 is the game, I'm just calling the file Doom 1. If I come in here, you can see my default health is 100. We're going to change it to a thousand, and doing so, it will look like zero, zero, zero in the health bar because the last digit will go off if you have more than three. Um, so let's go into the source code and change where that is. We've did this in a previous tutorial. It's in this file. We're going to go to line sixty-two of the file p enter in uh, dot c in the source folder, and here I'm just going to add a zero. We're going to make that the only change you make because more changes you make is going to make the binary file a lot different and we're looking for something in particular. We're looking for that point. So we don't want to change anything else at this point. So now I'm going to say make and I'm going to move that that we just created. I'm going to call that Doom 2. Now if I source Doom 2 and go into the game, you can see it says 000, which is actually a thousand. If someone shoots me, you'll see I'll get 900 something. Shoot me. Thank you. Okay. So now we need to compare the file to find out where the differences are. And there are going to be differences other than the thing we just changed, um, but not very many. Probably going to get maybe 20 lines of code, and there's going to be, or 20, yeah, 20 lines of output from this command when we're all done. I'm just going to copy and paste this. CMP will compare binary files. There we go. We get that right there. Um, and then we can also add a geoc command to that. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm just going to copy and paste it. This all is in the notes in the description of this video. If you click on the notes, hopefully I remember to put it there. It'll bring you to uh, a paste bin file that has the notes on this whole video there, as well as uh, last week's video. So basically here, we're getting the differences, but we want to see it in uh, hex code. So there we go. We can do that. And now you can see right here, we got a bunch of different stuff, but we have differences. The last two lines are what we're looking for. They're right next to each other. You can see there's the location in the file. And 6400, and this one's uh, E803. Uh, let me real quick show you here. If we bring up, I'm going to use Perl to do this, although there's online um, converters. I'm going to clear the screen. Oh, why did I clear the screen? Because let's not clear the screen. Let's go ahead and I'm going to just paste this code here. And actually, that's what I wanted to show you. So we're using Perl and we're executing it, telling it to print, unpack, and we're telling it just look at the notes. I'm not much of Perl, I just look this up online. But if we do 6400 and hit enter, we get 100. If we change that to E803, we get 1000. There is our difference at these two points. So if we open up hex edit, which again should be in your repositories, uh, just use apt-get to install that if you're on a Debian-based system. And we're going to modify the original Doom file, the Doom 1 file, to be uh, have a thousand percent health just like the Doom 2 file at start. So 
we're going to go source doom one and I'm going to hit F4 and paste in this location. And I actually did that wrong. So let me real quick quit out of that. I pasted in this location. If you don't do the the um, geoc part of this, if you just do this first part, if we scroll up, you'll see right here, it gives you a different number. So we can use this number, but you can see this value is different. That's why I converted it. So I could put in that value to jump to that spot, or if I use this one, if I hit F4, you can see, or F4, you can see it puts 0x saying this is hex code. We'll paste it after that. If we use the one without geoc, you would want to erase that. So I'll hit enter, and there we are, 64 and 0, 0. So as we said, if we change that to be, I believe it was E8, uh, 03, according to my notes. I'll hit Control X, save that, and now we can run that Doom 1 file that did have 100% health at the beginning, and now it is also at 1,000. So we modified that. Now, you might try to figure this out using an online converter. So let me find where I have that. So here's this example. I just Googled this. So uh, we want to convert hex to decimal converter is what we want. And if we run our code here again, so we were saying using our Perl code here that E0, uh, yeah, E803 is 1000. But if you put that in this hex editor, it gives you a much bigger number. It gives you 59,395 because what we actually want is 03E8, which is 1,000. Okay, so, and you can also write that, that leading zero does not need to be there. We'll give you the same thing. I am not advanced enough on this topic to explain why that is, and it threw me off at first when I was trying to do this, that in this binary, it flip-flops those two digits, those two characters. Uh, I don't I don't know are those two set of characters I don't know why if you know why definitely comment below this is not my strong suit this is just me playing around and sharing what I've learned hopefully my ignorance will allow me to explain it in a way that other ignorant people will <laughs> understand ignorant people on the topic and that don't mean to call you ignorant um, will understand it because sometimes when you understand something really well sometimes you don't explain it very well uh, to someone who doesn't understand all the basics. So I just wanted to say that, and hopefully I'm explaining that well. Now let, let's look at this a little bit more. So how does hex work? Well, you have values 0 through 15. So there's, fifth, there's 16 values altogether, 0 through 15, and it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F. So if I was to just put F in here and convert, I get 15. So our code ended in 8, like that, I'm sorry, our code actually ended in, yeah, so 8 there, so I had 3e8, I think was 1,000, yes. So if we were to change this to 300, we get 768. Let's actually just put that up here, paste that. Plus, oh, you already see that I've done this <laughs> from my history, but we'll say that. And then our next character was E. So if I do E0, we get 244. We'll add that in there. And again, if we just did 8, which was our last character, we get 8. And if we add that all up and hit Enter, we get 1,000. So. Again, the first column, as I started to explain, I don't want to get too much. You can definitely look up how hex works, but the first column, in this case, 8, will go through 16. And then the next column will be a multiplier of that. So if we were to 1, 0, we should get 16. And then the last column, 1, 0, 0, is valued at 256. So if we change that to 3, it's going to be 3 times 256, which is uh, 768 and so forth and so on. So basically, you multiply the first column, well, the first column is its, its value, it's up to six or 15, 
the next column you will be a multiplier of that. So if it's just one, it'll be 16. So if it's one, one, we're gonna get 17. And if it's two, one, you're gonna get 16 times two, which is 32 plus one, so we should get 33. Thank you, <laughs> I'm glad I did that right. And if we do one, there's, there's, so that's 256, so we take 256 plus our 33, 256 plus 33 is 289. So that's just a quick rundown. Definitely look up and read more about hex values, but that's how those numbers work, and for some reason they're flip-flop in this binary file. So again, I can go in there. Well, let's go here, back to this website, and say convert from, I, I flipped it from decimal to here. So let's say we wanted the value to be 500 converts. So it's 0, 1, F, 4, but flip-flopped in our code. So I'm going to pull this off the side. I'm going to go back into our hex editor here. Oh, you know, I need to get that location again. So control X and I'm not going to be able to scroll up that far. Let's go here. The file is different now. Oh, because the files are the same. Pooh. Uh, I can't remember what that point was in the code. So we'll just, we'll, recompile it. Pooh, I wish I wrote down that uh, that point. See, the thing is, it's showing the difference in the file, and the difference before was those last two lines. Well, I made them the same now, so my comparing is not showing me that point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to vim this again, and just for this, I'll change this to 100. Save it, make it, and I'll move that back to one. So Doom one now is set back to 100 health. If I run that again, Doom one, you can see it's back to 100 health because we recompiled it. So now if I compare the two again, and I can see them right here, the differences, I can come in here and I can say now say control hex, control R, hex edit, and I'm going to modify that file. F4 in this program, paste that that I just copied from that output, brings me to here, 6400. And as I was saying, if we wanted to be 500, it would be F401. Hopefully I'm right on this. F401 should be 500. I'll hit Control X, Y to save. Now if I run Doom 1 again, and I go in, our health is at 500. So. Again, in this particular case, we had two binaries to compare to find the differences, and we were able to look that up. So, it'd be a little bit different if you only had one binary, if you didn't have the source code on actually finding it, but uh, it's good to know how to compare files. I'll give you a quick rundown on, on hex values. If you're familiar with, with uh, a binary, which is values of two powers of two, column one is zero, one, then two, then four, then eight, this is, you know, through 0 through 15, 16, uh, 256, because it's powers of 16. So if you understand binary, you should understand hex value is basically the same, just instead of counting by powers of 2, you're counting by powers of 16. If you understand binary, I recommend looking at that before you're looking at hex. It's a little bit simpler uh, because you're just working with powers of 2. You know, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, uh, 32, uh, 64, and these numbers should be looking familiar, 128, because they're what you know you work with a lot in computers. Um, I think that's all I wanted to show you for this tutorial. I thank you for watching, uh, and I hope it wasn't too confusing. I hope I explained things well. Again, look at the links in the description of this video, and uh, the one link will bring you to my notes on this that will hopefully explain it all, because it's the notes that I wrote down, that I read from. And I hope that you have a great day. And again, my website's filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link to that in the description as well. Again, have a great day. Okay, this is an introduction to filmsbychris.com. I'm Chris. That's Chris the K. That's me right there. My daughter, Ember, and my wife, Jennifer. We pretty much live in the swamps of Florida. I'm a firefighter by day, 
as well as by night. We work long hours. But that's not why you're here. You're here about the videos I put up on YouTube. These videos are mainly about computers and programming, which means most of my videos look something like this. And if that's what you're interested in, great. If not, that's all right. I do videos on other topics too, such as video editing, special effects, photo editing, 3D design, and music creation. If you are one of my viewers and you enjoy my videos, my Patreon page is a place where you can go to help support my videos. So I ask that you take the time to go to my Patreon page and look at the different levels of rewards you can receive for different levels of backing. There should be a link in the description of this video if you are watching it on YouTube. Otherwise, you can visit patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. And I thank you for your time and your support. Have a great day.